And before we get started, this is for Final Cut editors. This is for Canon RAW shooters, though this problem could prevail in other editors as well. So stick around if your footage isn't looking right, if it looks different in camera than it does on your computer. Do you ever just sit with a problem for hours upon hours, trying your best to solve it with zero progress? Well, that was me all last week with my Canon R5 and its 8K RAW capabilities. Long story short, my RAW files look different in camera than they did on my computer. And I was so close, so close to just giving up, throwing in the towel and buying a brand new camera. And if you think I'm joking, I promise you I'm not. The C70 has been in my B&H cart for far too long now. It's so tempting. but. We're not giving in. We're gonna push through. We're gonna figure this out together. And before I forget, my name's Andrew. You can call me Pooch. I'd like to welcome you to the Less Lonely channel. I am really glad you're here. Now let's dive into this issue. Quick disclaimer, this is gonna get pretty camera nerdy really quick for the next minute. I'm gonna try to be brief. You've been warned. The Canon R5 is an absolute beast of a photography camera with some amazing specs crammed into it to make video amazing as well. Well, I say that not without some trickery though first. The Canon EOS R5 does allow you to shoot internally 8K RAW, but if I'm honest, I think it sucks. You get a few minutes in and either your camera is as hot as the surface of the sun or your memory card has literally forgotten everything but breathing and fine dining. It's as if all he knows is fine dining and breathing. That's a really niche reference. I, I hope you guys got it. In other words, it just means that it's full. It doesn't have a lot of time to be able to record. So what is, so what is the solution to those problems? Well, it's the Atmos Ninja 5 Plus. Essentially, this is the workaround to the large file sizes and the internal overheating. But that's actually not my problem. My problem is that from my camera to the recorder to importing it in to Final Cut Pro on my laptop, the footage looked completely different. It was almost if there was like some kind of LUT being applied. And look, I tried recording externally, internally. I tried recording with filters, without filters the works. Now, at this point of the story, I was one bad moment, bad decision away from completely losing my mind. And in a last ditch effort, I just reached out to Atmos. I was like, hey, what's going on? Can you guys please inform me? This doesn't seem right. And I have to say, Atmos, you guys saved me. Also made me feel a little stupid, but that's not on you, that's all on me. My NLE, which is Final Cut, was putting an import LUT every time I drop footage into it for editing. This is so, this, this feels like such a basic thing I should have known. Even Kyle was like, hey, are you sure there's not a LUT being applied? And I was adamant, no way, there's no way, I'm not doing anything. So you may be judging me currently and that's totally fine. We all have to learn in some way and unfortunately this is mine, but I'm gonna put it out in the open because I know other people are gonna run into this as well. And with this new revelation, I was super inspired to help you all out. So if you're a Final Cut Pro editor, if you're shooting 8K Canon RAW with the R5, uh, this is for you, this is a solution if your footage does not look right upon import. I've got my laptop right here, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what I did to fix this. So here's how we chat. Looking at Final Cut Pro, I've imported test footage that we took yesterday down by the river. Now, upon first look, you might think, hey, that looks like a flat image, but let me show you really quick full screen what RAW should look like. I hope that you guys can see the difference here. We're looking at completely flat to some saturation. It just doesn't look right. Here's how we check. Go on over to the info button and click it and look for this tab down here that says basic. You wanna click that and you wanna go ahead and find extended. This is gonna bring up a whole lot more information about this specific clip and also what Final Cut's doing with it. From here, we wanna scroll down until we see raw to log conversion and then camera LUT. Next to camera LUT, we wanna go ahead and click that See that it's saying Canon Log 2 Cinema Gamut. You're gonna go to none, boom. You can already see how different your image looks. This is the raw image that your camera captured and this is also the raw image that the Atmos Ninja 5 Plus captured. Yes, I'm embarrassed, but look, if I didn't show you, then you might have been just like me, searching and scouring the internet for answers only to get bogus results and you might have just bought yourself a new camera and been out $6,000. We can't be rage buying things in 2022. It's just 
not what we're doing. But hey, I hope this helped you out. All NLEs have this like setting, or I think most of them do. So just do some digging and you can find out uh, how to adjust this. I will say that I am leaving this on even after all of that work because it is giving me a leg up when it comes to color grading. So thanks for helping me feel less lonely. If you wanna feel less lonely in your creative journey, I do recommend leaving a like, dropping a comment, and ultimately subscribing. If you've been in my shoes, just go ahead and drop an F in the chat. I just need that right now. All right. Thank you.